Our scripture for today is found in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship Him. Everything today is so focused on personal consumption. All advertising and marketing push it. Anything and everything we can purchase seems to focus on self-gratification and less on contributing towards the happiness and joy of others. It's easy to become obsessed with ourselves and lose sight of our personal relationship with God and other people. We must be careful not to place our immediate needs and pleasures above those that are most important in our lives. When we can push back against the constant bombardment of our self-indulging appetites, we can focus more on the needs of others. This might feel countercultural, but doing so is an important part of our witness in the world. And it's what Paul meant when he encouraged us to come together in one spirit, with one mind striving side by side, in worship, in service, and in sacrifice. God wants to reform the way we enjoy our life. Instead of succumbing to self-gratification, what if we were to offer our things back to God in thanks? Whether it's our work, relationships, possessions, or even ourselves, the challenge is to present our lives to Him with open hearts and open hands. If we relinquish our desires and invite God to do what He wants with us, we can become people that reflect His perfect will. In Scripture, the word sacrifice took many forms, but they all involved letting go of earthly comforts and possessions. In fact, the word sacrifice comes from a Latin term that means to offer something or surrender something for another. And the same word in Hebrew means to bring something near. In this case, to an altar or to the Lord. Today we still have opportunities to bring our lives to God, drawing closer to Him on a daily basis. When we follow the example of Christ, the one who surrendered everything for the glory of His Father, we're able to join God in fulfilling His plan for our lives. We obediently serve and give of ourselves, and in return we find freedom in a life filled with His love, mercy, and heavenly promise.